Today let's do a balancing board. So let's start with the framework. To make a frame, I we are, we are using three scales, two long ones and one short. So take the short scale and connect the long scale like this. So this is a basic framework. So using a double sided gum tape and a cutter, let's fix this. So one I'll place it here. And the other one I'll place it here. Once you're done with the frame, start attaching your DC motors. Okay. One, place your DC motor such that the shaft will come outside, like this. The shaft here and the shaft here. Okay. Again, using a double-sided gum tape. So one motor is connected, do the same for the other one. So place the gum tape here. This is the basic frame. This makes up a basic frame. Okay. Now it's time to connect, hmm, attach your B-box. Take your B-box and place it here. Just make sure these uh, wires of the motors are reachable through the B-box. Connect them here. Like this, connect them to the motor ports, motor pins. And using a double sided gum tape again, attach the B-box. Place it right here. Just make sure this is tough enough. Okay. Now that uh, it's time to connect your sensors, uh, take a pair of sensors, take a sensor pair and bend them like this, sort of EL. Okay. Then we're using a double-sided gum tape again. Using a double-sided gum tape, tape them up. Uh, after doing this setup, just make sure they're in the same level, like this. Okay. Now, as you already know, the longer leg is positive and the shorter leg is negative. Um, and it's the same for the transmitter also. This is the transmitter, this is the receiver. So now take a patch box and connect a red to the longer leg of the transmitter, a red to the longer leg of the transmitter and black to the shorter leg. And uh, do the same for the receiver also. 
Red to the longer leg, black to the shorter leg. Then now, since the B box is very tall, so we want extended wire of the same. So to extend the wire, so we connect patch cords and using the connectors, we connect them. Red to red and black to black. Red to red, black to black. Like this. I do the same for the transmitter too. This way. And then uh, put the connectors to the other end of the patch cords. This way. So now take the frame and connect them appropriately. So before connecting the IR sensor pair, you place it on the motor like this. Take two wheels and connect it to the motor. This way. And then place the IR sensors right here. So in order to do that, take a double sided gum tape. then place it here at the topmost flat corner of your motor then to this piece of gum tape you place the sensor patch cord pin like this so that the sensor will face the ground so once you're done take the transmitter patch cord, patch cord of the transmitter and place it to V1, V2 or V0 positive to the uh, red wire to the positive and black wire to the negative so V1 is here so the transmitter is connected but the receiver you are supposed to connect it in a reverse bias way so for that means positive to negative, the positive red wire to negative and negative black wire to the positive of A1. Negative black wire to the positive, red wire to the negative. So this is how your balance board, balance board going to look like. So now it's time to connect your batteries. Take batteries, connect them to the serial connector. like this and then attach them at the back of the robot and then the power socket this is this finishes the construction of a balancing board okay now since uh, since you are connected uh, the sensors to A1 port uh, using the screwdriver, the small tiny screwdriver called pinch you should tune the A1 potentiometer here okay so if if I do it clockwise if the board is standing and if it tending to move forward so I need to tune the other way where it tends to move backward okay so this you hold the reset pin and then start tuning then leave and it will start working but you need to tune fine tune towards your positive or towards the clockwise or anti-clockwise So this is how to tune your balancing board so that it stands still. Now let's do the programming uh, for the balancing board. Go to BSoft. Before we start programming, uh, let's do some pre-settings. So go to settings. Since IR sensors are connected to A1 pin, make it input analog then just make sure your g port is output 
digital so I, you know, by default it will always be output digital so save it um, then just upload this program to your bbox so connect your bbox to your computer and click on upload so just save it as balancing board once the program is uploaded go to B profiler and then then add to read a1 then click on the blue button okay now you're getting some values it is around 500 so now your robot just make your balancing board stand straight in the balance position okay so now what value I'm getting is five around 515 it is so it means when my IR sensor is giving 515 value my robot is standing in the very straight position if my value IR value goes more than 515 that is when my robot is falling front see it is 530 535 so here my robot is falling front that's why the value is increasing when my uh, robot is falling behind the value decreases below 515 like 502 400 480 like that okay so now there is only one decision we have to put where we specify actions of the motor if your robot is falling front run the motors up front so that the robot stays back in the balance position or when the robot is falling behind run the motors behind so that the, again the robot coming back to the balance position again so now let's do the programming what value I get for the balance position is 515 here yes right here okay so close the B profiler and drag a decision component and make a1 greater than 515 so as I already told you if the value is greater than 515 that comes to the S of the decision so connect the output component and specify the motor actions and that would be going front which is represented by G1 high and G3 high I do the exact opposite to the other condition when the value goes uh, less than 515 run the motor behind like this so here G G2 is high G4 is high uh, so the programming is done connect your bbox to your computer and uh, upload program Take the screwdriver and turn it clockwise. The A1 potentiometer, turn it clockwise the very, very less amount. Okay. Now if you use a bigger wheel uh, instead of uh, these smaller ones then the response will be better. Uh, that means actually your robot will act faster than uh, it used to act.